In this video, we're going to go over show line breakdown in predicate logic derivations. Now, as you've seen from the lecture video, we have the universal as a new quantifier, and that can be the main connective, actually the main operator, and uh, that impacts our show line breakdown. Because if we actually want to show a universal claim, it suffices just to show an instantiation of that claim where that instantiation is arbitrary. Now in our system, we're actually going to generate that arbitrariness by using the exact same variable letter as what is captured in my quantifier. Now, if this sounds complicated, uh, it actually sort of plays out in a very simple way. So whenever you have a show of a universal, we immediately just need to show that this property here holds for an arbitrary member which we're going to pin down to be the same thing here. So that really simply just boils down to showing an instantiation and it looks like this. So if I can successfully show that for some arbitrary x, if fx then there exists a ygy, then I can actually conclude that everything has this property because x was arbitrary. Now this only works if x is indeed arbitrary prior to your show line, uh, which means it's not used in sort of a free way uh, in a different area of the proof. For more details, you can just consult the lecture video. But you can rest assured that whenever we have the case that you're starting uh, with a show line up here and then you have line two, that you're never going to actually have a problem with arbitrary variables, so you can immediately do this little move. Now from here, we just continue show line breakdown, and show line breakdown says the same thing. If it's a universal, you show an instantiation. If it's a conditional, you assume CD and you immediately show consequent. So in this case, nothing has changed. Now, what about this? Well, my show line breakdown doesn't finish until I do an assume ID. This is neither a conditional nor is it a universal, so there's nothing to do here, and I just assume ID. And that's how you do show line breakdown in predicate logic with universal. For this next example, let's also pretend this is just line one, and I have this show line. Now remember, show line breakdown is always uniquely dictated by what the main connective or operator is, and in this case, it's the conditional. So don't be fooled, just because it starts with the universal doesn't mean it's a universal. You still need to read the notation and be careful about this. Now once we know it's a conditional, I know how to proceed. I can immediately assume the antecedent. And that is an assume CD, and then I can show the consequent. So. We don't care that my antecedent itself is a universal. That will uh, matter later on when I do some basic rules to it, but for now, it's just the antecedent, so I assume it and I show the consequent. I'm not done, I just wrote a show line, I have to analyze this, and the analysis of this is again down to the main connective or operator, and in this case, it's the universal for all z. So I know what to do, I repeat what I did over here. This means that I just need to show the arbitrary instantiation of the same letter. So that's H, Z, and G, A. And notice that this A, which is a name letter, didn't change. It's just left alone. The only thing that changes is I drop the quantifier here, and everything that's tied to the Z stays as Z. So this A is still A. I'm not done. I have to check what this is. Here, the main connective is just this conjunction, which is neither universal nor conditional. So I'm ready to assume ID, and that's the end of my show line breakdown. A, I, D. I've got a couple more quick examples for us to look at. This one, again, I'll just pretend line one, doesn't really matter. Take your time, you look at this, and you realize that I actually have two universals out here. I have this for all x, then I have this for all y, and then I have the open bracket and the rest of the sentence. The rest of the sentence is a conditional in itself. When you have double universals like this, you really just have to peel them off one at a time. Okay, so I'll just peel off the universal x and take care of that, and I'm actually just trying to show an instantiation, which just means I essentially rewrite the sentence as it is and leave the x alone. A, W, by conditional, D, Y. Okay, now I do it again because now this is the main connective, and I need to get rid of this universal. So I'm gonna show another instantiation, and I just get, there exists a z, h, z, and g, x, arrow for all w, a, w, by conditional, d, y. 
At this point, I have a conditional as the main connective, so I just continue to do show line breakdown using the conditional, which means I get there exists a Z, H, Z, and G, X, and that's assume CD, and I get to show the consequent. Show for all W, A, W, by conditional, D, Y. Now to finish, I have this show line. It's a universal, so I will just show the instantiation of this, which is A, W, by conditional, D, Y, and if I want to, I will put in the assume ID. T typically, the assume ID for a biconditional isn't that useful because we know that we can go straight to proof structure and show one way and show the other. But it turns out it is actually quite useful if you have all your derived rules uh, because then I could actually just do a negation of biconditional and then I'm off to the races. So this is a full show line breakdown, lots of things to it, but it's not that bad because in the end, it just gives me this available line and this available line. And depending on what rules I have available to me, then I'll know what to do. So this last example isn't so much an example of showline breakdown, but it's just a reminder of why this stuff is useful, especially in the middle of a derivation. So it, let's say on line three, I get something that looks like this. Well, oh, and let's also assume that I only have my basic rule, so no quantifier negation. Uh, what I could do here is I could use this as a contradiction generator. So then I would just want for all x bracket gx arrow hx, because if I could do this, this would contradict with line three. But of course, this is the clue, because if you want something, you should just show it. And you can just write show uh, for all x bracket gx arrow hx immediately. And then you could just do the show of the instantiation gx arrow hx. And now you start to have parts in your derivation that are useful for you to actually do things with. So remember that trying to present or get a universal is the same as trying to get a conditional. There's no actual introduction rule for a universal or there or for a conditional. You actually have to do this process where you write a show line when you actually want it. And then this is how you would actually derive it. Now, of course, this only works, this line four only works, uh, coupled with the line five, if x is arbitrary up to this point. And so uh, you have to sort of watch for that in your derivations.